So somebody recently asked me what my creative process is like, and I thought that is a great idea for a video. So I'm going to tell you all about it. Here we go. So the first thing I have to do is have an idea. Uh, regurgitate the news. I could flip the idea of a GoPro action video on its head. I could uh, just make stuff that I like and hope that it is somehow fulfilling in the end. Now it's time to decide if that is a good idea or a bad idea. Now, uh, usually I get to the, oh my God, this is such a dumb idea. Why did I ever think this was a good idea? And I sort of beat myself up about it and I get into a creative slump and I don't think about that for a long time. Or hopefully I decide that this idea is gold and I just need to go for it, uh, unless I don't. And if I don't go for it, then it's brain, brain crack. crack. And Zay Frank talked about this more than 10 years ago, and I'll put a link over there because he's gonna be able to talk about it way better than I ever will. Okay, so the idea isn't brain crack, and it's a good idea, so it's time to do the thing. So I get super excited, and I run it past my wife, and I think about it uh, a lot, and I try really, really hard not to let it become brain crack because I can't not let this become brain crack, and then I procrastinate. Now, usually this part of procrastination involves food, which is really good because you gotta eat, right? Now then comes the research phase, and uh, of course this is like quote unquote research, uh, and what that normally entails is watching s hours of YouTube videos uh, about people who have had similar ideas and how they did it. Um, this can also include scouring Amazon and Best Buy and dreaming about having all the tools and gear that I would need to do the thing exactly right. God, this sounds an awful lot like brain crack. So most of what I do is video. Sometimes I also do photographs, but honestly, why do less work when you can give yourself a giant job? Am I right? It's time for more procrastination. Now, I, I think this time it will be uh, tickle fight and cartoons with my daughter. Now it's time to work on the computer. I think most people call this post-production. Um, it could be editing, it could be file transfers. It's great because those are both things that take a long time, uh, like where I can't actually do anything. So it, it gives me plenty of time to engage the next step, which is to, you guessed it, procrastinate. Now, usually this means social media because I'm already on my computer to do the, the video work. YouTube is right there and Facebook is not far away. So uh, why not refresh my newsfeed for the 10 gajillionth times? Now it's time to self-load. I see how much footage I have and and I know how much work this is going to be because I have done this before and I know exactly what I've got myself in for and I hate myself for doing it to myself again. And now I start to regret everything I have ever done in my life. I mean everything. I mean, look, at I underlined it on the page. And next up, I start something else for work or another idea pops into my head and I have to start the whole process over again or, or I go on a trip with my family or whatever. Something comes up and I forget what I'm doing on this project and it falls into obscurity or just some weird place on my hard drive. Okay, and then something else happens. I start to actually work and, and I work feverishly and I stay late nights at the office until it's done. Uh, I, I'm basically tied to my computer in such a way that is probably unhealthy now that I'm saying it out loud and actually thinking about it. And there's a couple more steps. There's one here and there's one there. I don't actually know what those steps are. Those are uh, just something that happens like like sometime between when I start working on it and, and, and when I, I get to the final product. Uh, and But I do. I end up with the final product. So that's it. That's what I do. That's usually how it goes. And I usually wind up with a, a neat end result. Not neat, like tidy, like I wrapped it up and put a bow on it and it looks beautiful, but like cool. There are a ton of places in this process where I could have more efficiency, but honestly, I like the results that I get, so I don't wind up changing it much. Also, this is like mostly parody. There's not that much procrastination. There's more. Okay, but to be real, I'm always gonna have too much going on. I'm always gonna have too many ideas. I'm always gonna have too many projects happening at once that need my attention right now. Uh, it's just kind of how I live my life now. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you the next time I see you. And in the meantime, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. At least not without a camera.